you quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Hiller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us on a beautiful Wednesday here in Nebraska. How are you, Miss Emily? She's in the house. Fabulous. Just good. Fabulous. Good. Did you do okay in the storm yesterday? Yes, it was so nice, Pam. I just wanted to cuddle up and like with a warm blanket and a book and just zone yeah, out. It, it was, was great. It was perfect. It's great, that. but yeah. a beautiful day today. It is. Yeah. Yes. All right. Where is everybody watching from? Um, Jennifer is watching and Beckham is from White Lake, Michigan. Oh, Carol Beckham, there we go. And Elaine is watching from Washington, Pennsylvania. We're so glad you're watching today. All right, quilters, before we get into today's show, um, a few weeks ago on one of our Tuesday events, we had Laura from A Slice of Pie and she talked about her exploding heart quilt pattern and I finished it yesterday. So here's a picture of it. And it is headed to my good friend, Christina Morrow. She's gonna quilt it for me. Um, but I just loved the pattern. I used my eight inch cube uh, to make it so it's about 72 by 72. Mm -hmm. But Emily, we're gonna talk about the five inch cube today. You could totally make it in a smaller size, right? Absolutely, yeah. Right? Be, I, think they sh I think someone should. So yeah, we can I think somebody two, should, you know? I think it should. <laughs> and I basically used uh, fat quarters that I had in my stash. So really I didn't buy any new fabric. This turned so, out so beautifully. Uh, you can get that pattern, a slice of pie. All right, now let's showcase the new projects for our intro video. Uh, first up, we have Simply Macbeth on Instagram. <gasps> so look at how beautiful oh, the colors are so in this. Pretty. And I want to think it's our rising star dye. That kind, that's what it's reminding Gosh, me of. It's such pretty, pretty colors. So, so, so pretty. I love the display too. It's very mm -hmm. unique. Good job. Next, we have Matthew M. and his great use of the log cabin dye. Absolutely. Look at how fun that is. I am working on a project right now using the log cabin dye. I just love it. Are you really? Because it cuts all the pieces, okay? Oh, so scrappy. Today's show is all about the new five inch go mix and match five inch cube that was released yesterday. And we had such a great launch party. So in honor of the five inch cube, here is my photo of the day. Huge shout out to Anna for making our graphics today. So um, I thought, what are my five favorite things? So family, quilting with AccuQuilt, traveling, I love to travel. I'm a voracious reader, I love to read. And I do love sunshine. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Seattle where there wasn't much, uh, so I really do love sunshine. And the boys here in the Dream Studio, they love uh, their favorite, favorite things. There was puzzles and games, and everybody's favorite thing was Kenyan. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Emily? Five <laughs> favorite things? Okay, I had to write mine down because I could. I, oh, I'm horrible yes. at remembering. So, hard. and there's lots of cuts. So I love cats. Yes, she does love cats. Um, makeup is one of my favorite it things truly ever. Is. <laughs> truly um, is. And then quilting slash crafting, like getting okay. hands on, and then cooking and kayaking. Are my All the K's. All the K's. I love it. Cooking <laughs> and kayaking. That's great. So in the comment section today. We want to know what are your five favorite things in honor of the launch of our five inch cube. Yes. So today we're going to use our five inch cube to make a really fun pillow um, pattern. It's called the Go Jubilee pillow pattern. It's a free pattern from AccuQuilt.com. You can download it before your cube arrives. Our good friend Terry Van Bosch made this beautiful, beautiful pillow. And I want to believe she made it in honor of the Queen's Jubilee. So it's we're going to so, go with that. So much fun. Isn't that so fun? I love the bright colors of it. It's just terrific. I bet you could get that done pretty quickly too. Oh my, with your in cube. an afternoon. Absolutely. I, totally. We're going to show you how to sew the blocks together. Now this month's die to try is the Go Butterfly Pieced 9 inch finish die. It is an AccuQuilt exclusive, so it's only available from AccuQuilt.com till the end of the month. So get yours before they flutter away. We've had some really great shows on how to use that die. All right, so quilters, did you watch yesterday's launch party? It was really fun. We have four special bundles featuring that five inch cube, okay? The first bundle is the Go Cubed five inch complete die bundle. This comes with the five inch cube, the companion set corners, the companion set angles, a two and a half inch strip die, a six by 24 cutting mat, the Go Cube mix and match blocks and quilt pattern book by our good friend Eleanor Burns, and to help you subcut your fabric, a six by 24 ruler. 
This bundle is valued at $728. You can snag it today for $659 and some change, saving you over $67. Our next bundle is the GoCube 5 inch die set. Now this bundle comes with that GoCube mix and match block, the two and a half inch strip die, the six by 24 cutting mat, the GoCube mix and match block, some quilt pattern book by Eleanor Burns, and that six by 24 ruler. This set is valued at $408, but you can grab it for 339 and some change, saving you over $67. The third bundle available today is the Go Cubed 5 inch exclusive die bundle. This bundle contains the 5 inch cube, 5 inch companion corners and angles, and the five or the Go Cube mix and match block system pattern book, which is going to give you some inspiration on how to make blocks using the cube system. This is a $590 value. It can be yours for $569 and some change, saving you over $19. And last but not least, okay, this is actually my favorite of all the bundles. This is the Go Cubed 5 inch exclusive on point die bundle. This one features the mix and match 5 inch cube, right? The 5 inch companion set corners, 5 inch companion set angles, and the 5 inch setting triangles, which allow you to turn your blocks on point. A 6 by 24 cutting mat and the Go Cube Mix and Match Block System Pattern Book to give you inspiration. This is a $701 value. It can be yours for $659 and saving you over $40 in savings. And don't forget, all of those bundles will ship free if you live in the contiguous U.S. And Karen, our warehouse um, manager, says if you place your orders, they're going to try and ship them today. Okay, so think about that. Along with these fantastic bundles, we also have more great deals to offer. You can buy one, get one 70% off. Go dies and cubes when you use the code BOGO70 at checkout. This is the perfect deal for saving on the 10 inch cube and the 10 inch companion sets because those cubes and companions will work with our five inch finished blocks plus because it's Wednesday, we're gonna give you double reward points to use on a future purchase. So lots of great deals, lots of great bundles, lots of fun things to do today. And guess what? Today I'm gonna to give away one of our Go Mix and Match 5 inch cubes. Be sure to register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you'll receive event emails. That way you'll never miss an exciting tutorial. And Emily is going to announce the lucky winner of our registered viewer at the end of her show. What a great prize. I just today. can't get over it. Five inch cube. An entire cube. That's such a great prize. I am. I'm super excited about it. Okay, so here is our five inch cube. So let's open one up and um, take out the dies we need for our project. And then we'll talk about the cube system. All right. So we're going to pull this first. And I'm going to grab my little blocks. There we go. And All right, so remember the cube system, uh, we have seven sizes of cubes, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12. And they all have the same eight shapes. They just come in different sizes, okay? So we're gonna talk about the five inch cube today. It has the sh same shapes as the 10 inch cube and the 12 inch cube and so forth, okay? Uh, you wanna pull up the skinny one first because then you won't break a nail. Inside it comes with a pattern book and a cutting mat uh, because you want to make sure you can't cut without a mat. All right. So I'm actually going to pull the one out of here. I have another one as well. All right. So shapes one through four are in one packet and um, six through eight are in the next little section here. So I'm going to open them up just like this. All right. Now, First, we want to talk about the system for the cube. So the system for the cube is based on a four patch. Shape number one in every cube is a square. Four of them sewn together, in this case, would make a five inch finished block. So this square finishes to two and a half inches. Okay, don't think I'm getting the five inch cube, it's gonna cut five inch squares there's some sewing involved, okay? So it's that four patch system. And 
this back here, and I'll show you what that looks like, okay? So here is my little five inch block, okay? I like this cube because it allows you to um, do some scrap busting, mm -hmm. okay? Shape number two in every cube are smaller squares like these. Four of these sewn together in this case would make a two and a half inch finished block, okay? So that's shape number two. Shape number three, Emily, do you know what it is? A half square triangle, I it believe. It is a half square triangle, which is my all time favorite shape. <laughs> so here's two of them sewn together. Again, this would make a two and a half inch finished block. Four of them sewn together would make a five inch block. Now the thing I love about our half square triangles is we've cut off the dog ears. So from this point here to this point here is that perfect quarter inch seam. And as quilters, that's what we really, really want. Makes life a lot easier. <laughs> it does. Shape number four in every single cube are quarter square triangles. Here are four of them sewn together. Look how great they came together with those points because we cut off the dog ears. All right, and quarter square triangles and half square triangles, all the shapes in the cube are common geometric shapes that we would use in quilting. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so there's the first four dies. And now let's look at the next four dies. So shape number five in every single cube are smaller half square triangles, okay? So there's big half square triangles and little half square triangles, okay? And four of them sewn together makes this fun little block. Oh, now sorry. this die is actually the shape is what we call the workhorse die mm -hmm. because it's gonna allow other dies to become new shapes. For example, shape number six, and every cube is not just a square, but it is a square on point. It is meant to live on its tippy toes. And if you add shape number five to the outside of shape number six, it makes absolutely hands down one of my favorite blocks a square and a square. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to do wicked math to know how to do it. AccuQuilt does all of the math, builds in all of those quarter inch seam allowances. Mm -hmm. Okay, Emily, do you know what shape number seven is? Number seven is a uh, parallelogram, right? It is a parallelogram. Yes. And this is what we call a directional shape. So um, depending on which way you want your parallelograms, then you're gonna change the direction whether you lay them facing up or whether you fan fold them. Sure. Okay, and this one we laid them all up so the um, parallelograms go in the same direction. And then we use shape number five on the outside to create uh, rectangles. So shape number eight in every rectangle, or in every cube, are rectangles. I'm okay, so, there we go. So excited and about this Two of them size. are sewn together. Now, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna pull the dies that we need for our project today. We're gonna need these small half square triangles, which is shape number five. And I'm gonna pull out shapes two and three. So two are the small squares and three are the big half square triangles. So those are the three shapes that you're gonna need to make our Go Jubilee pillow, all right? Now, the cube system, again, remember, it's based on a four patch system. And the project that we're gonna make today, we're gonna use our four inch cube. But let's say you, instead of making our five inch cube, thanks Joe, instead of making um, a pillow, maybe you wanna make it bigger. Maybe you wanna make it like a lap quilt or add more blocks. Then you could totally use the 10 inch cube or the 12 inch cube. The shapes are the same, okay? You just have to adjust the fabric. All right, all right, now before we lay out some fabric here, Emily, okay. tell us what people's five favorite things are because I'm excited to hear that. Yes, we have quite a few. So um, okay. Miss D says gardening and dogs. Oh, there you go. Um, Chris says quilting and riding my horse. Oh, Chris, that sounds like delightful. She's an equestrian, I love it. There we go. Um, Sue says family, quilting with AccuQuilt, reading, dogs, and she also loves sunshine, just like you. See, sunshine, it's important. <laughs> sure Holy is. smokes. 
And we have some fun questions too about okay. the exploding heart. They're very excited about oh, the exploding okay. heart. Okay, ask me exploding heart questions. Okay, we want to confirm the finished size with the eight inch cube. How do you remember how big that was? Seventy two by seventy two. Okay, Jackie says she's going to make it with her with her four inch cube and do thirty six by thirty six. Oh, then it could be a fun wall hanging. So cute. And then Barbara's wondering what color stripe binding you're going to do. Oh, so that's a great question because, you know, that's my goal for 2022. I haven't found any yet, but when it comes back from the quilters, um, I'm going to spend some time at the fabric store. I think I'm going to get multi-striped since it's multi-colored. Oh, great. Um, unless, I don't know, maybe purple striped or something. I don't know. And if you get the pattern, um, it has AccuQuilt instructions on how to cut the pieces. Yeah, like makes that. it so much easier. And for that project, I needed over 500 quarter square triangles. Wow. Yeah, and so I I got an extra quarter square triangle and then I ran two dies through my go big. So oh, I cut 500 in like 40 minutes or something. That's amazing. Yeah, okay. Those are great questions. Um, it was really a fun project to do. Yeah. It didn't take me very long to do it. It turned okay. out so much fun. All right, so let's talk about the blocks we're going to make. I have so many little samples of them because they just have parts and pieces, and that's okay. We're going to start um, with this block here, and I'm going to show you how to lay out the fabric with the pink and the black and the white, okay? So... The black and the white are shape number five, okay? And then this is shape number two, the smaller mm -hmm. squares, right? Mm -hmm. And shape number three and shape number three, okay? So those are the shapes and how you want to do them. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to lay out, we'll start with the top one. So what I've done is, Quilters ask me this all the time. They're like, how do you like rough cut your fabric, okay? Now we have rotary cutters and rulers and all sorts of great new tools on our website. Mm -hmm. So check them out, all right? So what I did was I measured from here to here, which is just a little over three and a quarter inches, okay? So I'm just gonna add a quarter of an inch on either side and just rough cut width of fabric four inches, okay? Which is what I have done here, okay? And then what you can do is, once it's here, you can fan fold it back and forth, okay? Perfect. Now, let's talk about this for a second because quilters ask this all the time. Mm -hmm. Notice that I'm laying my fabric just over this shape. I'm not laying it over the die because then it's gonna waste fabric. It's at an angle because there are blades in the die, not in the cutters. And so um, I wanna just lay my fabric over here and then I'm not wasting fabric. I'm always gonna tell you in projects like this where we're cutting from our cube, you just wanna subcut. Sure. Okay, subcut is important. Okay, and we're gonna put a little mat on it. And then the next one, this is gonna be kind of fun um, because I need little white and black half square triangles, okay? But I also need white half square triangles. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm gonna do. We can always cut six layers of cotton with our dies. So I'm gonna go back and forth and there is four layers. And then look, I just want some half square triangles so I'm just gonna use these little strips. There you go. Okay. And these little strips were just scraps from the project, okay? Oh, awesome. So when we talk about the um, cube system, especially the four and the five inch cubes, it's a great scrap buster, mm -hmm. okay? Now I'm gonna get my other mat. Oh, don't drop, there we go. Well, um, All right, now. The four, five, six, eight, and nine inch cubes will fit through all of our cutters, including the Go Me. The 10 and the 12 inch cubes will fit through the Go and the Go Big, but the Go as well, all right? Today, I'm gonna use my Go Big, so I'm actually gonna run two dies through in one pass. Perfect. All right, so now that I have my fabric laid over my shapes, 
I'm gonna put two mats on, they each need to have their own mat. And Emily, while these run through together, tell us what people's five favorite things are. Yes, and actually I have a, a perfect question while these dies are going through the goat bag because it's specifically about how they're going through. Bonnie's wondering, can the dies be put in short, short wise rather than lengthwise on the oh. goat bag? Since we have yes. you know, so many different sizes and things like that. Yes. Just, Justin, will you grab me just a six by 12 die? Oh, he has to unplug here. Hold on one sec. Six by 12? Oh yeah, here, we'll let Emily get off screen for a second. Look, she can do this. Six by 12. Okay. So quilters, here's what they're asking. They're asking, can I take this six by 12 die and turn it sideways and run it through? if I have a go big, the answer is yes, but that lengthwise grain needs to be parallel to the lengthwise blades, okay? So don't lay the fabric here lengthwise grain and then run it through this direction because then it's cutting the wrong way, all right? So it's more important instead, you know, I always tell you label at your belly lengthwise grain, that way you remember, but that lengthwise grain needs to travel through the cutter? That's a great question. Very good question. Okay. All right. So here, let's let's see what we've cut. All right. So here's our little half square triangles, and here's so many little pieces. Okay. So now I've cut some half square triangles, and here was my pro tip. Right. I was going to sew these pieces together, mm -hmm. so we should cut them together. Perfect. Okay. We're going to do it again when we do the blue and white. Now, if somebody had a bunch, like a bunch of charm packs, Pam, would, would the five inch cube be a good scrap? Yeah, absolutely. Good. You could totally cut pieces with that. Love that. Okay. All right. Now, I'm gonna move this. We have and now let's cut our other pieces. So we're gonna cut the white and the black half square triangles. So look what I've done. I put right sides together because I'm gonna sew them together, let's cut them together. <laughs> okay, just gonna fan fold back and forth, six layers. Okay, and then the same thing here. I put my right sides together because I'm gonna sew these together. All right, Emily, while I cut these, tell us what people's five favorite things are. Yes, Pam loves family, travel, gardening, quilting, of course, and stamping. Oh, yeah, like crafting, like stamps, right? Like stamping or, or like, or collecting stamps? Oh, maybe. Would that be? There's a real name for that. Isn't what is that, that called, called like philodling or something like that? I don't know, but that's a I'm great word. I'm pretty sure that's the word. Is I it hope truly? it's the right word. I, I'm gonna Google it, but I'm sure, okay. I'm sure it's philodling. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, again, I don't know, I think Emily's making stuff up. Okay, I'm gonna cut two dice through at one pass. Hey, quilters, don't forget to join me and Erica on Tuesday, May 24th at 12 noon Central Time. We are celebrating the 100th episode of our Tuesday AQ Live shows. Be sure to register for the event for the chance to win prizes. All right. So now we've cut out our pieces. Look at this. This makes me so happy. Love it. Because now they're just all ready to be sewn together. And Pam, Google yes. has confirmed philately is indeed the art of stamp collecting. Okay, did anybody else in the dream studio know what that word meant? Did anybody know that word? Gosh, <laughs> I'm proud of all of you people who know that. <laughs> so I wonder if she likes to do stamping or if she collects stamps. I know, we'll have to, we'll have to ask Pam please for Please tell more. us, please yes. tell us, inquiring minds wanna know. Uh, yes, the other Pam H, I love it. Okay. We've got more like watercolor, camping, crafting. Watercolors. Miss Camping Janelle. never, never, ever I know. on my list. Yeah, keep, keep me in the, like, if it can't, my version of camping is like the one, you know, where it's got four walls and a bathroom, you know, the, all of the, all of the amenities. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Four walls and a ceiling. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> yeah. Holy oh, smokes. Okay. So while we're talking about that, let's make some blocks together. Yeah. So this is our, we have two different blocks. Okay. So now we're gonna lay out the pieces that we need for our little um, pink and 
black and white block. They look like I little. I do love these colors. They're like little bow ties. Yeah, Terry did so such a great cute. job choosing these colors, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my whites and my black, I moved them here so these aren't together, okay? Um, I'm gonna sew them together, all right? So I just need two for my block, so I'm just gonna sew two together. Mm -hmm. And this is just a great chain piecing block, okay? So I'm gonna sew these together. Oh, I gotta get my ironing stuff out, okay? <laughs> I and just ordered the wool pressing mat for myself and the, the little shovel iron, Pam. I could not be more excited yeah. to get that out at home. It's truly what you need in life. It really is. Well, it just, it speeds up the process so much, even faster because, you know, you're not having to like go back and forth to an ironing board. You've got it Oh, right no, there. I never leave my chair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, until, okay, why does Netflix ask me if I still want to watch? I know, they're, yeah, they're like, Oh, are you still are watching? Are you still watching? I'm like, did I turn off the TV? Right. Have I said that I'm not? Have I said that I'm not? <laughs> then I have to find the remote. I know. I'm not going to lie, though. Tell I, them have, yes. I have been grateful of it, like, once or twice when I've accidentally fallen asleep while binging. Oh, and then, you know, you lose your place in the show, and you go, oh, no, where did I fall asleep? Where did I go? <laughs> where was that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, this one caught my little edge here, so I have another one. I know, thank goodness for Netflix. Well, look how it ate it. I should have, so this is a great, um, ooh, I'll show you how to do this, because this is a cool concept. Ooh, is this a teaching moment? Yeah, it is. We create what we call leaders and enders, okay? And so basically what happens is, with your sewing machine, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't like to start on that little piece all by itself. Oh, okay. It sure. makes it cranky, and so, what I do is I try to just take some scrap fabric like this, and then I can start at the top and start stitching, and then I can continue to chain piece. So oh. we'll do it when we do our little blue ones here. Gotcha. Okay, so that's what a lead is. I've, a I've leader, heard of yeah, them before, a leader. but okay. So there are quilters, I am not one of them, <laughs> who make whole quilts out of leaders and enders. Really? Because what they do is they take squares that they've cut sure. and they sew them together as the leaders. Mm -hmm. And then, so they take half square triangles, right? And sew them together as the leaders. And then eventually they have all of these squares sewn and then they sew them together and make quilts. Sure, oh my gosh, wow. Now, if you are a leader or ender, tell us. Okay, but tell us what your five favorite things are. Okay, now I press my seams open, all right? And we're gonna make these cute little blocks. So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna have, add a half square triangle to either side, like this. And because we cut off the dog ears, um, What's gonna happen is this is gonna line up perfectly, mm -hmm. right, here, and then I'm gonna add the other side and it's gonna line up perfectly. And I think that that's one of the great things about the AccuQuilt system is that when I'm sewing these tiny little pieces, they're gonna line up perfectly. It's gonna give me the perfect quarter inch seam allowance so that I can make my block, yeah. okay? Um, here, let's do another one because we can. We have half square triangles to do this. Okay, so we're gonna make two and then we'll show you how to lay the uh, pink half square triangle down, okay? And again, this is a great, great block to chain piece. All right, so here's my leader. Here I really should do leaders and enders. We spend so much time in the dream studio sewing. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Okay, so see, it's much happier when it has a long piece to go. Okay. Oh, we've got lots of leaders and enders too in the comments now, Pam. See? I, okay, so is, let's see, I totally move this. Hold on here. Sue says she I use leaders and enders and make a second quilt while working on the first see? one. See? Yep. She says I put them in between the main piecing. This works great with chain piecing. That is so cool. That is such a great idea. Yeah. Okay, and I should totally be doing that. Absolutely. Because it just so see, look, it's much happier. Oh yeah, you're you're see how goodness. it's happier. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. tell it's just running a lot smoother. Yep. Now, um, Dottie has a really good question about you know the about these dies and especially if you're like scrap busting. Yes. 
So it's a little bit harder to know, like, you know, lengthwise grain and things like that when you're cutting smaller pieces. Yes. Do you have any, like, recommendations? Or is you there... know, I, I really try to do that little pull test where, mm. see, look, right there, there's lots of stretch. Right. But there it's not so much. Sure. Um, and with, like, the four and the five-inch cubes, you're going to find that, you know, you're going to have pieces that are just, you know, tiny little pieces. And I just do my best. Do my best right. to try to find you know, that lengthwise grain, it really is gonna make such a difference. Yeah. Okay. So now here I've pressed my seams open and now I'm gonna add the other side and I'm just gonna keep it in my machine because I'm making, I'm making chain piecing here. There you go. Now I'm really think I need to cut out some half square triangles so we can do leaders and enders forever. Absolutely. I know, right? just save those. And, um, we do have um, someone wondering in, wondering in the comments, making sure, um, can you explain again, putting them right sides together? Yes. Hang on one second. I think we're going to have another one of those yep. coming up here oh, soon. Hang on here one sec. Yeah, because we've cut all our pieces. It's okay. I'll show you. <laughs> okay. So when I was cutting my squares, here's the white and the blue. This is the right side, this is the right side. Okay. I put right sides together, and then when I fan folded and cut them, now look, I can just take them like this mm -hmm. and chain piece for days because they're already ready to sew. I see where you're going. Rather than cutting all the blue and then cutting all, or the green, what, mint? Do we call that mint? Yeah. And then cutting all the white and then mix, putting them together. So my pro tip always, always, always is if you're going to sew them together, the question is, can you cut them together? Okay, so think about that because it saves you so much time. Yeah, I never even thought about that. Mm -hmm. that so, so much cool. time. Ooh, yeah. Nancy's wondering how many cubes, cubes I have. Oh yeah, Emily. So Nancy, I am new, I, I basically kind of, um, borrow things from the dream studio you, do. you can borrow things from the dream studio, which is kind of how i've been doing it i officially have an, the eight inch cube that's that's kind of my you know my foundational building block right. that i've been working with but um, you have a ready set go because right? i do i've got the ready set go with that two inch strip cutter and it just it was like the perfect starter for me right. so um but yeah i'm i'm hoping to you know maybe expand my collection but you know i've got access to the whole kit and caboodle which is really really <laughs> some <nice>. advantages to <laughs> Yeah, there's I mean, a little bit of... And, and, and to Emily's credit, she does use different dyes and, and is excited about, you know, trying different dyes and seeing how they work. It's really um, fun. Yeah. Okay, so now look. I'm going to take my big half square triangle and I'm going to sew this and I'm going to sew it from this side so as I come here, I can see where that point is Sure. and make sure, sure that I'm stitching and get that perfect point. Mm. Okay. All right. All right, Emily, while I'm sewing, tell us what people are loving, their five favorite things. Yes, their five favorite things. We have, okay, I think this one's really, really cool. Um, someone said cooking and genealogy. Yeah, genealogy. I do family history. And that is so cool. So I, are your, is your family from some, some cool places, Pam? Um, they, they are. Really? Um, so um, my second great-grandfather was born in Norway. Oh, wow. And... Um, he was a big genealogy guy, so we we can trace our Norwegian roots back a long, long ways. Very cool. So, yeah, kind of fun. Um, yeah, that's a great that's a great hobby. It's very popular. Very cool hobby. Okay. Um, we have Miss Pat, who likes who's loves family, quilting, crocheting, reading, and relaxing. There you go. That is a really cool. I love the things that people can crochet. Yeah, I am not a crocheter. I, know, I wish I, I am were. A Wiltshire. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, and I, no, truly, because I have lots of friends who multitask and right. live in so many different of those worlds, right? Sure. Okay. Okay. And look at us just sewing blocks together. Pretty soon we're going to sew them together to make a, a whole block. All right. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Where'd it go? We have this new gadget. 
Oh, the, oh, that's right. We do have a new gadget to use me today. opening new gadget this stuff. This is so exciting. And this can now be found on our website. Um, if you want to go to... You know the, what it is? It's a stiletto. Yes. I was just looking for the word, for what it was called, the precision stiletto. Yep. So watch this. This is so cool. It is. It's super nice because look, because now I can go right here and it will open up my... Um, seam right here and then see where I pressed it open and then I can press it open with my little shuffle iron. See that just uh, makes life so much easier. Well sometimes you just need it to start it. Exactly yeah you just, just kind of need, need a little help wedge. from your friend here to start this Exactly. and this will just you can just go through and it will open it either direction. And look Love at it. that perfect point. Look at Yay. this. Okay we can't lose this team. I don't know. Exactly. It's a really I feel like chances are I'm going to. Yeah, okay, so I'm see, look, I can just come right here. And the fact that we've got like the new the new little wonder clips, we've got yes. flower okay, do we really cuz didn't we allow announce last week that we had them and they weren't on the website? Yeah, right? I, I spilled the beans Thank a little bit Thank you to Lauren early. and their team for That was a my those, bad. <laughs> those up. Now listen, we talked about this yesterday. I think I probably talked about the 5-inch cubes long before they were. <laughs> Um, ever, ever part of our AccuQuilt. Okay, all right. So now, with those half square triangles, then let's sew. Oh, we have time. Let's sew a couple together with the squares. Okay, and we're gonna take some of our little squares right here. We just need two of them to make a four patch. And the thing that is so fun about the cube system is that the shapes are all the same, right? So. I just know always that shape number two is a small square. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to chain piece them. I'm going to start with my little leader so it doesn't get cranky. Miss Jennifer is also a leader, but so she uses her leaders and enders over and over and over again until there's so much thread you can't reuse them. <laughs> oh. Uh, I should totally be doing that. Just keeps that one. Okay. That now one that leader. I've done this, I want to make sure that I sewed it to the right side because I was talking. Hold on. When I am sewing at home, I never do that wrong. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. Oh, I do. Every time. Almost yeah, every Okay, time. see, oh, yeah. look. <laughs> Gosh. See, I sewed it wrong because I was talking. Well, this is why we have those nice little seam rippers. They're our best friend. No. There are other little... Okay, hold on here. <laughs> All right, Emily Wimes. Taking out my scene, tell us what five things people love. Absolutely. Miss um, Carol says family, quilting, cooking, car trips, and reading. I love car trips. Oh, you know, yes. I've been yes. growing to like car, like traveling in cars as opposed to flying recently. I just, it's so much more relaxed, you know, without. Okay, it depends on who's driving. Okay, that's true. That's very okay. true. I mean, Joe and I went to Paducah and he drove and it was just fine. See, I mean, yeah. I could sit and do English paper piecing and it was just great. But some people, I don't know, I'd be interested to see what Joe said about our trip to Paducah. <laughs> <laughs> and whether or not it was his favorite car trip. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Well, they're fun. You know, I don't you, know, yeah. And you get to visit, it's easier to, to talk and you can pack as much as you want without yeah. you know, worrying and yeah, it just, I love a car, good car trip, so. Okay, so here are my um, half square triangles and my squares. And now because I'm making a four patch, I'm gonna press um, to the white on this one ah. uh, so that we have just a little less bulk in our seams. And people ask me, how do I know which way to press? When I'm sewing tiny pieces like this that have half square triangles, I am always, always, always going to press my seams open mm. because otherwise they're just too bulky when you're trying to make your block. Sure. Right? Yeah. But when I'm making a four patch, I am always going to press to one direction or the other. Okay? So it's just kind of a, a, just kind of a rule of thumb that I like to follow so that I'm just kind of consistent in that. Sure. Well, okay. And what's great about our patterns on AccuQuilt.com is they will also tell you how to press your seams. Right. As they well. will. They will. Um, when I was making my exploding heart quilt, 
um, because I used the cube. Here was my, here's my tip about that. Um, I have an AccuCult Educator Pam Heller Facebook page, so I post stuff there all the time. You can go and watch that. But here's what I learned. Basically what you need are 18 rows, 18 rows of 18 blocks, okay? And what happens to me, and maybe not to you because maybe you sewed them differently, when I sew rows and rows of things together, by the time I get to like the eighth row, it's a little wonky. Oh. It's not very stable. So what I did was I took three rows and three columns and I followed the pattern and I marked it off and then I created nine patches. Okay. okay. So one through three and four through six and so on and so forth. Okay. And then I did the same thing for the next three rows. I created three columns, three rows, created nine patches. And then I pressed one direction for the, you know, nine patches and the other so that my rows would nest. And I want you to know that my Exploding Heart Quilt lays so flat because I, I made these nice nine patches instead yeah. of rows. Okay? Great it was tip. just kind of a little trick I did um, and it really made it help lay flat. Okay, so now, because we have all these little seams, right? Now I'm just gonna press my seams open. Okay, wow. so these are all the pieces I need for my first block. I know, it's hard to believe we, I've just made stuff for one block. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing to make our four patches, all right? So we're gonna sew some whites and, some, do you call this green or blue? I feel I like it's, it's almost, a mint green. Yeah, it's like almost like a turquoise -y yeah. kind of. Whatever it's it really is, pretty. super cute. Okay, so I've already cut my pieces together. Now I can sew them together. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for my um, big half square triangles, okay? Amazing. Okay, so look, see, cut them together, sew them together. All right, and we'll start with the leader. Okay, Wadley, so Emily, tell us what five things are people doing. Excellent. Um, Kimberly says, tough decision, quilting, cats and dogs, gardens, family and friends, and AccuQuilt. Yay! Yay! Um, let's see, oh, Elizabeth says, family, friends, my pugs, AccuQuilt's in Oklahoma. There you go, my pugs, I love it. Pugs, those are such cute dogs. I love it. Um, Beck, uh, Carol says, uh, reading, quilting, grandchildren, walking, and card playing. Oh, uh, there you go. You know, this weather has been so nice for walking so outside. So beautiful outside. There's this gorgeous trail right behind my apartment building, so I like to go walking on it on occasion. Mm -hmm. And they have had, um, there's been, the families of geese are all having their, their families, the little babies. Isn't that so fun? And all the little families are just, you know, hanging out along the trail. And I, I have gotten hissed at a couple of times, I'm not gonna lie, but okay. you know, you just, you just stay away as, you know, you just keep your distance and. <laughs> I used to ride my picture. bike along the Wabash Trail and um, deer got me, like attacked me one day. Okay, keep talking because I broke No my way. Yeah, we were out on a bike ride. It was really exciting and. We were just out there and... It was a big old stag that oh, was... Oh, it was like a whole it. family of deer. There oh, were wow. like a stag and a mama and babies and and they were not happy that we were... At, it was in the summertime, so, you know, it was like we went super early, like right. six in the morning because otherwise it's so hot here. Oh, yeah, that's their... That's their, their uh, what do you call it? Their witching hour is what I'd call it. <laughs> their witching hour? <laughs> Yeah, I've yes. never called it that, but forevermore I'm going to. <laughs> My cats have a witching hour, you know. Oh, we call that the crackhead hour is at our house. Oh, really? Earl is running around. <laughs> okay, it's just taking me a minute here to find the little needle here. Hold on. We have some more fun favorite things. Okay, tell us more fun too. favorite things. Um, family sewing, walking, trying something new, and of course, ice cream, says Kitty. Oh, there, ten, hands down. Hands, hands down. down. The ice cream rule. Ice cream. Amen. And it's ice cream season. Oh my goodness. Oh, all the days. There's a fabulous place. We went and got gelato the other night. Um, How fun. Downtown on 13th Street. It was just, ugh hit the spot and this okay. with this uh weather starting to change it's so nice it is um i am a fan of ice cream more than gelato 
Okay. But or sorbet maybe. No. Well, okay. This is this is going to sound really pretentious. Um, we had gelato in Italy mm -hmm. that was like fresh and beautiful and delicious, and I can't eat gelato in the United States. Gotcha. It kind of it kind of ruined the kinda U.S. Ruined it gelato. For us. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> But I do love ice cream, and we love at our house to, like, make homemade ice cream. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to combine forces, I've because I've been infusing um, butter with uh, lavender recently, and maybe we'll have For to any some. particular reason? For baking. Um, to, to, I've made uh, shortbread cookies, uh, lavender butter shortbread cookies for my mom for Mother's Day. That sounds so fancy. It was really Holy fun. Holy <laughs> Okay. Okay, I don't know if I sewed anything while I was talking to Emily about lavender butter. Okay, we did. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we get we get things done too. I, we, we did. We try. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to press these open just to, to help relieve that little bulk in our small little block. Okay. okay, so the question people ask is, what AccuQuilt products and dyes should I buy first? So I'm going to tell you, you should start with a Q. And our Ready, Set, Go has an eight inch cube and a two and a half inch strip die, which every quilter needs is a two and a half inch strip die. And it comes together in all the things and just add fabric. Mm -hmm. And cubes are designed to work together. So for example, today the five and the 10 inch cubes work together, but you can use, a, make a five inch block using a four inch cube. Right. You could use the four and the eight and the 12 inch cubes. Just, it, they're all meant to work together. And I think that that's the value of the cube system, right? Is that it's meant to work together. Okay, now I'm gonna make a four patch. So I'm pressing, we'll pretend it's Star Wars Day. <laughs> Press <laughs> exactly. to the dark side. Yeah. That was such a fun show. That was such a fun show. Okay, so Sherry calls the crazy hour. She calls it arsenic hour at her arsenic house. Arsenic hour. <laughs> When the okay. kids, he wants everything. Dad wants dinner. Kids yes. want stuff, and she can't even put her purse down. <laughs> I, I love that. That's so funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, when our children were small, we called it the ugly hour. That hour after dinner and baths, before they are headed to bed. Yes. Because they are just cranky. <sighs> okay. We're just you know live show. We're of course, having technical issues with our, our... Would a leader be helped, do you think? Or is this one of those things where just... No, I think what has happened the... is um, people who are not me um, wind bobbins. And what happens is sometimes they wind bobbins over other fabric or other thread. And so when we come to this point at the, towards the end of the bobbin, they sometimes catch, but it's okay. We don't have very many seams yeah. left to sew and it will work just great. And we learned so many new things today. I know. You know? I do know. We're getting all the... <laughs> okay, and now of course it has come out. All right, Emily, we tell have... us why I'm threading my machine again. Absolutely. Uh, Christina says sewing, dogs, be ooh, being in the water, anything, and nice people and cheese. <laughs> nice people and cheese. <laughs> That's Tina. the best answer of the day. That's a whole vibe. Cheese that is a whole vibe. It really is. Like, nice people and cheese. Okay. I love that. On that great note, don't forget we have bundles available with our five inch cube um, companions and setting triangles. Plus, don't forget we have that great promo BOGO 70. Buy one, get one 70% off. Yes. Um, our cubes and dies. And if you order before midnight tonight, central time, um, I'm gonna use one that's already done because this one didn't finish sewing. Um, you can get double reward points. Okay, so Emily, tell us some um, dies that folks could get with that BOGO 70. Absolutely, well, we were just chatting about like the 10 inch cube. So, you know, say you have a 10 inch cube and you want to invest in like the, the angles and the corners today. Right. If you bought one at 199, you would get the second one at $60. Oh, see, that's terrific. And that would, if you live in the US, that would ship to you for free. If you live in contiguous US. Okay, I'm gonna sew my blocks together. Or like if you need a couple of strip dies right now would be a really okay, good time. So the strip die that would go great with the five inch cube because it makes five inch finish, two of them. The five and a half inch strip die. 
okay. right? Because it finishes to five inches. Yep. And, okay, you're all gonna think I have not done my math right. The three inch strip die, how come, Emily? Because it cuts, well, no, it I don't know. Finishes, <laughs> it finishes to two and a half inches. Oh, that's... Which is shape half number one five. in the five inch cube. I know, sometimes I can do math. Damn, right. you're blowing my mind okay. today. Uh, sometimes, Emily, it's just such a fun show. Okay, are we <laughs> loving this? Look at how fun this block is. Okay, so now I'm gonna press in opposite directions so that my, when I press like this in opposite directions, it is so my pieces nest together. And you're gonna find that um, because you've cut them perfectly yeah. and you've used that really good quarter inch seam allowance, it's gonna nest together beautifully. Mm. See, look at this. Okay, and when I talk about nesting, see the seams are gonna go one direction and the other. When I did my exploding heart, because I cut them perfectly and I sewed them with a quarter inch seam, all those rows nested. We need like a mind blown sound effect. Like Some days, some days <laughs> I figure it out. Um, I am working on a, I'll have to post it. I'm working on a project. Okay, my dad is watching, so I can't tell him very much about it, but, um, hi dad. Um, <laughs> he, he lives in a retirement center and he and his friends all watch our show in St. George, Utah. Aww. Okay, look at this. Look how thin this block is, okay? So the same two blocks. Now I'm gonna go right here. Anyway, I'm using the um, uh, log cabin die. And right. I'm using the schoolhouse pieced die. Ooh. And I can tell you that one of my favorite things about the log cabin die is that it makes blocks, you don't have to make 12 inch blocks. You could make six inch blocks or eight inch blocks. So I'm currently making nine inch blocks with my log cabin die, ah. which is perfect for my project. Okay, so now look, these little cute little bow ties, don't they look like bow ties? They really, really do. Okay. And guess what, that log cabin, if anybody's inspired today, yes. it's part of that BOGO 70. <gasps> See, mm -hmm. get you. Is the schoolhouse piece die part of that BOGO 70? The schoolhouse pieced one um, is the, I believe it's new, but let me double check that because I know that See, it is. I don't was. know when we launch things. Oh, it is, but it's already <gasps> marked down to $89.99. So okay. there is a great pattern that. on our website that has our um, nine inch, or our schoolhouse and our log cabin die. And it is the project that I'm, I'm making it for my dad. And I just love it because it goes together so perfectly. Oh, fun. I just think it's great. So yeah, buy one, get one 90% or 70% off. That'd be great. And I'm, I'm using the Storm at Sea right now on my We're project. We're gonna use that next. We, I think, I think that is in the schedule yeah, for next week. Yeah, if you don't have week. Storm at Sea, oh Ooh, man, get your yeah. Storm at Sea 70% off, that comes down to $36 for Storm at Sea. That's not bad at all. And what I love about the Storm at Sea that I'm discovering is it can finish at a nine or a 12 inch finish. Yes. Which is really cool. Yes, and it works together with so many of our other um, dies. Yeah. Okay, so now I've sewn my blocks together. I'm gonna press to one side. Press to the pink, press the pink away, there we go. And then my blocks are gonna nest. So when you're making this project quilters, <laughs> don't be like me and just make one of each. Do all, you need a total, right, of eight of these. So mm -hmm. do all of the one blocks and then sew all of the others, okay? Perfect. So now I've pressed to the other side and now my block is gonna fit together beautifully. All right. So good. And today I'm gonna give away a five inch cube to one lucky viewer. Whoever Ooh. that is, you are a lucky duck today. So be sure to register for future events. So you can register for our Wednesday events, you can register for our Tuesday events. Yep, occasionally All on be. our AccuQuilt page, right? Is that where they find it, Emily? They sure can, and, and it's crazy because, you know, because they'll sometimes have shows on a Thursday or Friday that they'll you guys will sometimes throw one on occasion, do. you know? We'll just... <laughs> Sometimes we do. And that's just another chance to win. It is. Okay, so here is our blocks.
beautiful. All right, Cool Juice, don't forget all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. You can go back and watch them um, if you need to. All right, so Emily is gonna talk about our blog while I get something fun to show you. I love our blog. So right now we're, our blog is focusing on all the things that you can do with, you know, the five inch blog. Yes. Um, so many amazing products and patterns. Um, the cool thing about our blog too is that all of those patterns are gonna be exclusive to the blog. So they can only be found at blog.accuquilt.com. So. Now we happen to know some folk. So we're gonna show you today the projects that are featured in our blog because that's the only place you can find the patterns. Okay, are you ready? Oh, wait till you see. Okay. I love these so much. Hold on here. I have to read the name of it. Okay, so this one is called the Go Sapphires and Diamond Wall Hanging. <gasps> and it's from Heidi Pridemore of Whimsical Workshop. Is this not just stunning? It's amazing. I think the batiks are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, and it's I bet so pretty. the purples and the, that kind yes. of maroony pinky, like, oh my gosh, I'm just yeah. going crazy over this. This, this is one gorgeous. is, I'm loving this one, Heidi. Good job, Heidi. Well done. Okay, and then next we have the, okay, I knew exactly who made this quote when I saw it. <laughs> okay, this is called Go Tiny Dancer Wall Hanging by Gina Jempasaw of Gem Hill Quilts. She used Hoffman Fabrics. And um, I think we talked about it yesterday. The fabric we gave away on yesterday's show, mm -hmm. this is the project you can make with it. Oh, it's perfect. And Erica was so covetous of the whole purple batiks <laughs> thing. I know, I had to make yeah, sure that those were job, going to Gina. the winners. <laughs> Gina and I could totally hang together. She and I like the same kinds of quilts and the ki same kinds of things. Okay, and this is reminiscent of a project, and I want to think maybe Missy did it as well, um, that we made using the Go Pickle Dish die. Oh. It was called, somebody's going to know, okay? Look at this. This is called Tiny Trellis Mini Quilts. And this is Missy, Missy Shepler of Shepler Studios. She used Timeless Treasures fabrics. So all of the fabrics were different, right? Some were batiks and some were solids. And I feel like that's, you know, it just gives it such a different colorway, right? It really does. Look at how pretty that is. So the, hey, check out our blog, because these are on our blog today. All right, quilters, you're gonna need a total of eight pink and black blocks and eight teal and black blocks to finish your pillow top. And you wanna follow the pattern to complete the pillow top. Make sure you share your finished projects with us on accuquilt.com or I'm sorry, on our social media platforms, okay? Now maybe you don't like the colorway, though I love the colorway of our project. Check out our Go Quilt tool on our AccuQuilt website. It allows you to change the colorway of thousands of patterns, including this one, mm -hmm. and there is a great tutorial to help you get started. So if you change the colorway, again, be sure to share with us on our social media platforms. Don't forget to join Eric and I on Tuesday, May 24th at 12 noon Central Time as we celebrate our 100th episode of our AccuQuilt Lives on Tuesday. Be sure to register for the event. You're gonna, we're gonna give away some great prizes. And don't forget we have bundles available on our website, the Go Cube Mix and Match Blocks, Companion Sets, and Setting Triangles. And plus, buy one, get one 70% off. Dies and Cubes using the BOGO 70. Earn double reward points until midnight some exceptions apply, so check the website. So real quick, let's talk about setting triangles and the five inch square. Awesome. And Oh, um, here. Gail's also wondering too, if she has the nine inch cube, what other cubes should she get with it? Oh, the six and the 12. Six and the 12, of course. Yeah, yeah. All part six of that BOGO 70 today. Perfect time to get those cubes. Yep. Okay, let's real quick talk about this square. This is our five and a half inch square, finishes to five inches. Um, we just launched this a couple of weeks ago. We did. Right, was that when it was? Sure. Okay, so what you can do is you can cut squares with this and you can make setting squares. Hmm. And because we launched a new cube, we also launched a new size of setting triangles. So these are the five inch setting triangles. It's part of our bundle, so don't, don't miss out on that. What it allows you to do is turn your blocks 
on point, like this. Erica made this one for me. Doesn't look like candy corn. Oh, really does. Hey. <laughs> so the setting triangles, what's gonna happen is the side setting triangles, it has sides and it has um, corners, right? Corners, yeah. thank you. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> so here's the side setting triangles and here's the corner setting triangles. This makes sure that lengthwise grain is nice and tight. Sure. To make sure your blocks don't go wonky. And then the five inch square could be used as setting squares oh, in your cute. block. And it's big enough you could applique some shapes, you Absolutely. could do some really fun things with it. So I think it's fabulous to be able to make a scrappy quilt and then use the setting triangles. And then here's some samples of 10 inch bobs. While we're making blocks, we should use bobs. Um, this is Tangled Star, one of my all-time favorite Love blocks. Star. And this is Rising Star. So look how fun those blocks are. And again, four of our um, blocks, guys. right? Make a 10-inch block. Those are just so... Okay. Yeah, look great. at that. So it's all gonna work together. Okay, here's pineapple. Joe loves pineapple. Oh my gosh. Okay. Great day to stock up on those 10 inch bobs. All right, Emily, let's announce our AccuQuilt Live winner who gets a five inch cube. Woohoo! All righty. And today's winner is, drum roll please, Marilyn B. of North Hills, California. Congratulations, Marilyn. We are going to send you a five inch cube. You're going to love it. All right, quilters, be sure to join us for next week's AccuQuilt Live. We're going to use our Go Storm at Sea Dye to get ready for Memorial Day. We have a super fun project by our good friend Bea Lee of Bea Quilter. On behalf of our entire team, um, offsite we have Morgan and Lauren are helping with our comments and Katie. Yep. Mm -hmm. And here in the Dream Studio, we have Brock and Justin and Joe and, of course, the amazing Emily. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quote more.